Hello fam and welcome back to another video. This is our monthly family Costco grocery haul for this month and I can't wait to show you what we got. I was trying to stick to a really strict budget as you know. We also do our monthly meal plan with weekly revisions and we also inventory, check our fridge, pantry and freezer, make sure we're using up everything that we have so nothing goes to waste. And if you do want to stick to a budget, make sure you go into Costco with a list. That's a great way to save money. Get a lot of questions about the coupon book. You do not have to clip coupons, okay? You just go in there and when you check out, it comes off. Always double check your receipt and make sure, but yes, it's automatic. By the way, if you go between coupon books, always double check. They do have some random sales and it's really fun to look for those. Be careful, stay on budget, right? But just, it's fun to look. <laughs> and we're just getting back from Costco and this is our April 2024 Costco haul. We spent just under $150 and I can't wait to share with you what I got. A couple of new things, a couple of tried and true things. Oh, and I did want to share with you that I got the cookie. <laughs> My kids asked, this is a, Costco cookie. It's at the food court. It's brand new. Let me know if you've tried it. So let's get into this. I did get some Starbucks coffee. And here's the thing about Starbucks. Now, I got this Starbucks with my Fetch Rewards. If you guys aren't using Fetch, it's basically an app where you scan receipts and you earn rewards. And I basically cash out my rewards for gift cards. And as you can see, I don't normally get Starbucks, but I, I normally get Dunkin' Donuts, but I don't really like the reward system lately. I don't know, let me know what you guys prefer, Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. It's really good, mm, mm-hmm, mm. Delicious. We spent a total, like I said, of just under $100. I didn't get a rotisserie chicken, which is so crazy because I always get a rotisserie chicken. If you're new to these videos, be sure to check out the rotisserie chickens. They're $4.99, they've been $4.99 forever. And I just, I don't know, I just feel like we actually just baked, uh, smoked actually a bunch of chicken breasts in our smoker yesterday so it was in our freezer and i was just like you know what we don't really need chicken although you could still take it apart and freeze it whatnot anyway i digress i got a five dozen pack of eggs right under ten dollars for this really good deal the borzin was still on sale it's on sale it was on sale in the march coupon book if you haven't tuned in to watch the coupon book videos make sure you subscribe we do a preview every single month so we do have a preview up usually whenever these hauls go up. So make sure you go ahead, I'll link it below. Check out the preview for the following month. Coupon books basically are like in instant manufacturer rebates. You just go to the register and as a member, you get that. So this was on sale. Sometimes Costco will extend the sale. So just keep that in mind. Under here, I do have ground beef. It's a big pack. They only had a few packs left and they were really big. So it's actually leaking. I went and I did put it in the bags that they supply. It's leaking. I am going to piece it out into different bags and weigh them. I'm probably going to get about five, 5.25, five. No, I'm going to get about five bags at about 1.25 pounds. Sorry about that. Yeah, I normally get a little bit of a smaller pack, but it is a big pack. I'm just going to freeze them in individual bags. The chicken breast is a tried and true staple. I use it in my broccoli cheddar soup. I make chicken salads with that just for lunches and wraps. This went up a dollar, which is interesting. It went up a lot. It was $9.99, then it went up to $15.99, a little bit after the pandemic. It was actually not available during the pandemic. After the pandemic, $15.99, then it went down to $11.99, and now it's back up to $12.99. I still get it because I really do like having it in my pantry. And as you can see, there's like a theme here. I usually get either pantry items or things that I will have, to, I'll have for a while. Like this will serve me for meals on meals. This will serve me for a while in terms of eggs. The broccoli florets, I have four of the one pound bags. I love these, they've raised the price on this. Uh, it used to be $6.99, now it's $8.99. The reason why I still go with these is because of the quality. It is organic. It's not really the reason specifically, but the quality. They have these really large stalks, and so I just really like that for the, the quality and the fact that there's no stems. You could probably get something cheaper at Walmart if you can get just the florets, but I get four pound bags. I use them for broccoli cheddar. I use them for roasted vegetables. As a side dish, I even use it for, I make like a mock chicken Alfredo with cream cheese and Parmesan and a little bit of chicken stock. And I put the broccoli in there and make like a chicken broccoli Alfredo. It's so good. This is about $3.99, the baby spinach. Love that for one pound. We got the Tasty Bites. These were on sale in March. They extended the sale. Like I said, sometimes your market may vary, but sometimes they do extend the sales depending on what the sale was previously. Also between coupon books, they sometimes just have really good deals. These are really good. My teens actually like these, which is nice. And it's a quick little lunch. 
So if you do have teens or you have um, a microwave either at school or work, these would be really good. You obviously can make these on your own. These have lentils, red beans, spices that are all simmered in like a creamy tomato sauce. So it is creamy. It's really tasty, really delicious. And they come in these little pouches. So they're perfect to take with you on the go. Speaking of lunches, so these two things are have been, I have two teens. So these have been like the teen lunches by choice lately. We have two lunch ideas for teens and we also have, not ideas, but these are just my life. Anyway, these are our two teen uh, picks this time. We have the Tasty Bite Madras Lentils and the Fall, this, is, this was a really good deal actually. I think it was about $8 for nine of them. So not bad. I could go to the Dollar Tree and get noodles. I know they have like yakisoba at the Dollar Tree and stuff like that. But this is actually, they actually had a sample of this and it actually tasted pretty good. So they come in these individual bowls and if you have a microwave, like it, my kids actually have a microwave in certain classes, certain teachers, so they allow them to do that. Also hummus. Hummus is really, really good. The roasted pine nut hummus. I got through, I did buy this last month and I got through the whole thing. Really excited about that. Sometimes I buy things and I don't get through it. And that's the downside of Costco, but we did because we all like this. And what I pair it with, believe it or not, are the tortilla strips. So for $4.59, guys, they sell these Kirkland, but look at what it says. Do you see that? Something's wrong. It's a little bit dark today. I apologize. It's really overcast. It looks kind of bright, but it's really dark outside. So the camera looks a little wonky. I apologize, but it does say their mission. So it's actually made by Mission, which is crazy because if you were to buy this brand of Mission, this many chips, oh my gosh, it would be like a tremendous amount of money. $4.59 for three pounds. And surprisingly, we got through a whole bag of that with the hummus. And then we also, we have salsa in the pantry. So I got salsa on like a deal at Kroger or Fry's, one of those stores, and I just stocked up on it. So we love these. These are our tried and true snacks. So we get through this first, and then when we're done, we get... We pair that with the salsa. So that's one snack, lunches, and then another snack are these cashews. I got the cashews for snacks, for lunches and things like that. I also will give them usually like a fruit or whatnot. We also, sometimes we'll do like um, blocks of cheese if cheese is on sale. So I got that as well. Garlic, it's about $6 for this. Lasts a few months, so that's really good. The avocado oil, this lasts a few months as well. We do use oil for everything, I have to say, and this is my favorite oil. And then this was on sale, which was really happy about. Um, I don't know if it'll still be on sale, but double check with your market. I normally will buy whatever may I was on sale, but I really do like this one because it's avocado oil, which is really, 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 really good. And the ingredients, my goodness, such good ingredients, like literally just eggs, oil, mustard seed, salt, spices, oh, such a good, a good choice for mayonnaise, love that. And then, because Dawn wasn't on sale. Now, if Dawn is on sale, I will usually go for it. But I w I'm trying this. Let me know if you guys have tried the Kirkland. I figure if the tortilla strips are mission, I was looking to see, like, if is this Dawn? Do they make it in the same factory? They don't. Um, it smells like Dawn. <laughs> it looks like Dawn. We'll see. It's grease-cutting power. It was $7.99. So even when Dawn is on sale, Dawn is normally, like, $9.99. Anywho. So that's what I got. I also wanted to share with you, if you guys haven't been trying the Pillsbury Zero Sugar Brownie Mix, I got this for my kids, believe it or not. Not that I'm trying to get them off sugar, but it's nice to kind of get something a little bit less sugary. So I did get that cookie, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm going to make these tonight. I got this I, I got this on sale at a local market. I think they have it at Walmart. All you have to do is add eggs and oil, and it tastes so good. It tastes just like a regular brownie. So, so good. So try those. Um depending on where you get it, it could be anywhere from like two, I think Walmart's like $2 and 50 cents. And then it goes up depending like if you have a fancier store, I got it in my regular grocery store for like two ninety nine, So I'm really happy about that. They also have cupcakes and frosting and things like that. So that's everything I got in this haul guys. If you want to subscribe, be sure to do that so you can get those coupon book previews and let me know what you're getting this month at Costco and what's your budget. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and we'll see you in the next one. I wanted to share with you a quick Chalk Zero purchase that I just made. So a little Chalk Zero haul for you. I do have a discount code and I, I absolutely love that I can share that with you guys. I've been eating this for about five years. I don't get a discount, but if you guys purchase, you get a discount and I get a little bit of a kickback and I do appreciate that, but you don't have to. I just want to share this because 
I'm obsessed with Chalk Zero. I did get chocolate milk, milk chocolate orange, 50% cocoa, dark chocolate squares, and then I got two jams and the new Rhea, Rhea, Rhea candy bars. <laughs> I love this stuff. Okay, so the orange chocolate tastes, literally tastes like those little orange chocolate candies I used to have growing up. My dad used to get them for us. And then the, I also love the fact that they have the marmalade. I dipped the dark chocolate in the marmalade. Oh, so good. If you are low carb or keto, the marmalade and the jelly, the strawberry jelly tastes just like the regular. So you can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like you used to. And then these Rhea bars. Oh my gosh, they're so good guys. Oh my gosh, by the time you're watching this video, these are already gone. <laughs> I don't even know if they're in stock. I got them as soon as they dropped them. They taste like Snickers. I'm not even kidding. They're gluten-free, keto, free. they're keto and they're soy-free. They have caramel, peanuts, and nougat. And even my kids say they taste a lot like Snickers because the nougat and the caramel is on point. Plus with those peanuts, so delicious. So if you do want to grab this, go ahead and use the discount code free to family at, at checkout and it'll save you. But again, I use my own money to buy this. Hands down, one of my absolute favorite chocolates and I don't pretty much eat anything else. It's low carb. It's keto, it's sugar-free, and they use monk fruit. So definitely go ahead, use the link below or the code free to family at checkout to save. And don't forget to take advantage of these offers and great ways to earn more money. With Rakuten, you can get an additional $30 bonus when you sign up and spend $30 or more using the referral link in the video description. You can also receive up to 20% cash back every time you shop at your favorite stores. Just use the app or the Chrome extension. Next, we have the Ibotta app where you can get cash back when doing your grocery shopping. You can also receive a $10 bonus when you sign up and upload your first receipt using the referral code on the screen or the referral link in the description box below. And in case you want to maximize your rewards, you can use a second app like Fetch Rewards to upload the same receipt you just used from the Ibotta app. Fetch is super easy to use as it will give you points just for uploading any type of receipt and you will get 2,000 points equal to $2 in rewards just for signing up with this referral code on the screen. Seriously, don't miss out on any of these offers and amazing ways to make extra money. You can also earn more money by referring your own friends and family. So get started today.